greetings and a heartfelt welcome to all. I'm Esther Berkey, the passionate creator behind the book Living Without Fear, which has touched many lives. And I'm the co-creator of the Amazon best-selling Inspired Journeys. If you're eager to explore a world of endless possibilities, you've come to the right place. Know someone who could use a dose of inspiration from today's episode? Feel free to share this podcast with them. And don't forget to stay updated by subscribing to my newsletter, joining me on YouTube. And if you found value in what you heard, kindly leave a review on your preferred podcast platform with a sprinkle of stars. Your unwavering support truly warms my heart. And I'm deeply appreciative of each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. And today, I'd like to remind you, don't underestimate time. You can go further than you think. Don't limit yourself by saying, it's too late to start or I'm too old. Exactly five years ago, I attended an event in Zurich led by the American business coach, entrepreneur and investor, J.T. Fox. And I remember as it had been yesterday, I felt so small, I felt so insecure, and honestly, I was frustrated that I had not yet been able to create a business I could be proud of. I was unhappy and I was looking at other people and I admired them all for being much more courageous than me. Last week, JT Fox came back again to Zurich for the same event. It has been the first time after COVID and I knew I needed to go again. I sat in his audience And I felt so different, totally different. I was immensely grateful and I felt so proud of myself. Why? Five years ago, I had started writing my book, Living Without Fear, but I was at the very beginning of my story. And the second part of the book, the 55 short texts about mental health, had not even been born at all. Five years ago, I would not have dared to dream of how my life would be in five years into into the future. Imagine the same can happen to your life, to your dreams. Believe me, and that's why I want to inspire you today. Don't stop believing in yourself. And don't hold back with starting the thing you've always dreamt of. Five years ago, I knew I needed some guidance. Mentally, I felt at the bottom. I had already done a lot of psychotherapy, but still I didn't feel better. So I guessed I needed something else. A coach who worked with me one-on-one. At the end of the same year, I signed a contract with a coach who had been trained by the American motivational speaker, Tony Robbins. And I still work with this coach until this day. And I wouldn't be here speaking to you if I hadn't dared to get help and invest in myself. This Tony Robbins coach did not only help me to overcome my fears to publish my book, but he also taught me the tools Tony Robbins taught him. So I learned how to become the master of my own emotions, how to overcome my depressive states, how to become a better mother, a better friend, an entrepreneur and leader. And I'm so grateful for all this. And I also want to express gratitude 
for the work JT Fox had done during COVID. During the first weeks of COVID, while all other American speakers and coaches had been silent, JT Fox started free teachings one hour a day from Monday to Friday. And he was also the one who had inspired me to start this podcast, Living Without Fear. One day, he explained how easy it was to create a podcast and upload it to the app Anchor, today called Podcasters, who diffused the content on many more podcast platforms, such as Apple or Google Podcasts. JT Fox said, you don't need expensive equipment. You can use your phone and the microphone of your headphones. That's it. I believed him. And that was the very beginning of my first podcast episode in spring 2020. When you go back to my first episodes, you can hear my voice trembling. I was uncertain. I was so afraid of criticism, but I kept on going, also thanks to my friend Rehum 8 and many others, and maybe you, who has been listening since the very beginning. I pushed myself out of my comfort zone, JT Fox and my Tony Robbins coach, who two years later has written the foreword to my book, living without fear, encouraged me on my path. And believe me, there were times where I wasn't proud of myself yet. I was impatient or I was thinking of giving up. But I kept on doing and I don't regret it any minute. And I don't want to miss any lows and feelings of failure, because they all shaped me and got me to the point where I am today. And therefore, it has been a very insightful day for me at the JT Fox event last week. And I was so grateful I could thank him also for his inspiration, which he accepted with a lot of joy. You may say five years are a long period. It doesn't seem so. It has been so intense. What also helped me grow during this time were all the Tony Robbins events I attended virtually. And a month ago, I was at the first in-person event in Colonia in Germany, where I was part of the Tony Robbins crew. By the way, I've published a whole episode on my insights during this Tony Robbins event. If you feel stuck today, if you blame yourself that you aren't there yet where you would like to be, be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself and don't stop believing in yourself. You will also get there as I did, and one day you can also be very happy and proud of yourself. Sometimes it takes more time than you would like it would, but in retrospect, you come further than you often think. Five years ago, I dreamt of publishing my book, but I could not imagine what would come with all that what transformation it brought with it. I would have never dreamt that I would be at peace, especially with my patriarchal father, and that I would discover that my fear and anxiety had been his fears all over the years, but he had never talked about them. It would have, I would have never dreamt that my father would share his memoirs with me while he was still alive and that I would make a book of it and publish it this year. 
And I would have never dreamt of having so much compassion for my depressed mother who could not see, hear and understand me when I was a child and still today as an adult. Five years ago, I didn't know I would break those generational patterns and I would be a role model for my two sons. The transformation started when I began to see my two boys, who are now 18 and 20, as my biggest teachers in life. And when I stopped believing, I needed to educate them. Of course, they still push some buttons in me from time to time. They still trigger me, but I take these moments as parts of my learning on this earth. And I believe the more vulnerable I am, the stronger and the more authentic I become. Five years ago, I didn't believe I could sit still for more than five minutes and meditate. All my senses were directed to the outer world, to money, to fame, to success. I could not imagine that there is a much richer inner world I would discover step by step and that this inner work would help me transform. So if you want to take one thing from this episode, don't underestimate time. Don't limit yourself that it's too late or you are too old. It's never too late. If you feel stuck today, it is because of you and the limitations you create in yourself. I hope this episode inspired you as I have felt inspired by JT Fox. And if you think you need help and you want to get coached by me, book a call with me. Use the coupon code TRANSFORM now to get a free discovery call. I also enjoy hearing from you what you've learned. Please share your thoughts on Instagram or YouTube. Thank you, dear listener, for spending your precious time with me and being open to transform your life. And I cannot repeat it enough. In case you still feel worthless and nobody seems to like you, I tell you, You are amazing, I love you, and you are a gift to everyone who crosses your path. And please remember these sentences over and over again. Have an amazing day and talk to you next week.